What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, and I don't know what it is about our justice system, but to me, it's full of shit. Because I'm watching this video about this uh about this girl right here that I forgot how to close Claudia. I'm sorry if I mispronouncing her name. I had, but Miss Brown, I'm a car because it's the last name. Miss Brown. And I just did a last story about this girl in California. About this girl in California named Sarah. About how Sarah was getting groomed at the ages of 11. By a man that was in his 20s. They said in his 20s that was actually grooming her, molested and raping her. And made her, and pimped her out at the age of 13. But this girl right here is in the same boat as this as Sarah like I don't get I don't get none of this I'm for real see you, you got these damn laws about child abuse child neglect child and all this shit and you get up then they talk about oh we're trying to put a stop to teen sex trafficking you ain't doing shit if you're trying to put a stop to teen sex trafficking, I'm afraid like this is really pissing me off. If the, if these people are trying to, if the police, the FBI, the CIA, our government's trying to put a stop to teen sex trafficking, I'm putting these pictures up to show y'all. This is why this is why I got this is why the justice is full of shit. But if they trying to put a stop to teen sex trafficking, these two girls wouldn't be in lockup, wouldn't have life in prison. And I'm sitting up here it's like these two girls are being dealt a bad hand. Talking about oh they deserve to go to jail, they deserve to go to jail, but y'all. Y'all ain't helping nobody. This girl is sitting up in prison, man, looking at life. And this is happening in my state, my city. My state, my city, city of Nashville. And I'm sitting up here pissed off. It's like, you telling me that you got all these laws about sex trafficking? You got all these laws about... T uh, Prostitution is illegal. I'm gonna put the video. The, the actually there's a documentary video. I'm gonna post in the description box. Plus the free to free Miss Brown. I should have did the same one with the Miss uh, Miss Sarah. But like I said, man, it's 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 wrong. I'm sitting up here and it's blowing my mind. That these kids are getting pimped out, getting getting pimped out, put out there to be prostituted, and molested, and raped, and they got to be put in these adult situations. How can these kids get out of that situation? They can't run away because they, if they run away, they get found. They can't run to the police. Why? Because they got to say, oh, I'm a prostitute. He was pro pimping me out. She'll go to jail, too. For being a prostitute. And I'm sitting up here looking at this man like, are you kidding that our justice system is so bad? So bad. That they forget about these kids? That these kids gotta take a life just to be free, and I'm sitting up there, like, oh, my, like for real. You want your kids to stay in school? Do you want them to be somebody? You want them to make something, make something of themselves? How can they when they being pimped out? And this girl has been pimped out. The girl, kid, she killed this. 40 year old, like for real man, she killed this 42 year old man. It says in 2004, she was arrested for murder 
of a 34-year-old man in Nashville, Tennessee, my, my hometown. And she was pimped out by a dude named Cutthroat. Pimped out by a dude named Cutthroat now. I don't get it. I'm trying to figure this out. How can these people overlook these kids like that? You sit up here and you... I, it just shocks me. It shocks me to see this, that... To see that this girl's going through the same thing as this Sarah girl. And no, and, and all these people can think about, oh, let's lock them up. So a 16-year-old getting pimped out by a guy in his 20s should be locked up and sentenced to life in prison instead of the pedophile that's been pimping him out. They deserve to walk free so they can do it again. Is that how people see it nowadays? Is that how they see it nowadays? That I just don't get it because one thing is they always talk about oh we need to get kids up the street so I can stop being gang bag gang baggers, drug addicts, drug dealers, pimps, pimps, hoes and all this and that. Pimps, hoes and all this and that. But you sit up here locking them up because they gotta do on the be put in a dope situation. And it's shocking, it's mind-boggling that this is going on in today's society. In today's society that we, that I see, I, I see that in 2000, the girl is, is younger than me. She's four years younger than me now. She's 24 now. And she's been in pr prison, been incarcerated ever since she was 16. She was 16 years old when she was when she was incarcerated. And you, you got to sit back and think about it. So you got Trayvon Martin getting killed out on the street by a vigilante. You got a girl getting pimped down, and she kills her pimp. You get another girl that's been pimped out. And she kills the damn client. And, and it, just, it just messes me up because I'm sitting up here looking at this shit like, are we missing something? Like, is, uh, is like for real, do, does the damn... <laughs> Does everybody, does the damn justice system thinks that ju does the justice system think that every kid is supposed to be locked up and incarcerated because that's where they need to be? I said, I got I got two nieces, man. I don't want to see that happen when they got to be put in an adult situation because our justice system don't know how to do their damn job. And that's how I see it. You got two, you got all these kids dying off and be put in jail because they get put in these damn adult situations. And that's one thing I don't get. I'm lost. I can't figure out. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on in today's society. But don't know because you got the justice system screwing out the kids. And you got 
<laughs> and it just, it just, I don't get it, man. You tell me what I'm missing about this whole thing. And these girls are beautiful, man. Beautiful. Beautiful women. Beautiful girls. Beautiful girls. And they've been dealt a bit nasty hand. Dealt a nasty hand. And that's... And it and, and it and it messes me up, man, because you get two girls, same story, pimped out at a young age, at a young age, minor, 16 years old, and be pimped out like, Sarah, she's been pimped out when she was 13, and when she had 13, 16, she killed a pimp, and she got life in prison. This Miss Brown girl been pimped out, and she kills a client and when she was 16. Are you, like, are, if for the people who say, oh, they deserve to be in prison because they killed two people. No, they don't. If you tell me pedophiles needs to rape kids, then it makes you a pedophile supporter. That's all it is. If you think pedo the, 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 the pedophile pimp that pimped out Sarah needs to be allowed to pimp out more teenagers, more minors, and more kids, then it tells me you support the pedophiles. If you're telling me that you think that the pedophile that was trying to have sex with Miss Brown needs to be allowed, it tells me that you support the pedophiles that rape your kids on the daily, that you don't mind to have your kids raped and molested and felt upon and men impregnated and catch some STD or so on and so forth. These kids are not getting with, not getting justice. Are we gonna send them to prison for killing a pedophile? Is that what you see it? To me, it's like yeah, if they kill a pedophile, that's one less pedophile in the world. That's how I see it. That's one less pedophile that we gotta worry about. Is living down the street. I give a big round of applause, applause, and I'm proud of these girls for standing up and doing the right thing. Killing, now killing is wrong, but for standing up for themselves against pedophiles. And you telling me that you rather take their freedom away after they've been raped, molested, and and been contaminated with STDs, and their lives taken away from them because they raped, they killed the pedophile. See, pedophile has no color. Pedophile has no age. They said when you hit 21, yeah, it becomes the problem. And, well, actually, nowadays, in today's society, pedophile doesn't come with an age because, you know, the, the sex thing ordeal, yeah. But you know what I'm saying. Like, these girls been lost everything. And it said that I come on, I find out that another girl was in the same store as this Sarah girl, and she had to kill someone just to get out of a situation and I'm sitting up here more pissed as hell because this is going on nobody's putting a stop to it nobody's sitting up there saying anything about it oh let's let them rot But you're telling me that you'd rather see two girls that was molested at a young age. You think they should live that life to where they be molested and felt upon and all this and that just because they're underage. Like I said, it can be your child, it can be your daughter, it can be your niece, it can be your granddaughter, it can be your cousin, it can be anybody in your family and y'all sit up here some people sitting up here thinking that it's okay to, for that to happen people think that's okay for it to happen 
that a girl that she it just I, I just don't get anymore. I see two beautiful women and their freedom's been taken away from them ever since they was young. I see Sarah, her life's been, her freedom, her life's been taken away from her ever since she was 11 years old. This Miss Brown girl, her life's been taken away from her ever since this guy cutthroat, killthroat, whatever has taken her life away from her, made her be a prostitute at 16. And their lives are going, and y'all, oh, the, oh, they, they, oh, I don't know where I went wrong. Uh, nothing, you don't know where you went wrong. Motherfucker, you wasn't there in their lives. You wasn't there for them, man. Where was you? Where was you, man, in life? It's heartbreaking, man. It's heartbreaking because you sit up here and you're trying to raise your kids right and you can't do that because the justice system won't let you. Like, I, I, I just, the, the justice system's fail our kids. That's one thing is they're trying to do this whole, oh, we're trying to crack down on t uh, teen tra sex trafficking sex trafficking or teen prostitution well it's not working because if it was both of these girls would not be in prison if y'all was cracking down on it now you tell me what I'm missing on that if you was cracking down on teen prostitution tell me why these two girls are in prison now you can't say oh they killed somebody no it's because y'all allow this to happen oh it was the parents too yes it was the parents too but one thing is you gotta blame the you gotta blame the parents and you gotta blame the justice system because you know why because this, this is why you gotta blame both parties because one thing is it's the parents fault for letting this happen and second it's the justice system fault for failing them don't sit there and run, oh, it was Obama's fault. This happened before Obama got in office, motherfucker. It happened before Obama got in office. Girl was 16 years old and put in prison. She's looking at life in prison. She's got life in prison. 50 years to life in prison. Because she killed a client for trying to have sex with her. She's in prison. She was 16. Mid 90s. She was arrested in the mid 90s. And she's in her 30s. She's in her 30s. This is what she looks like now. 16 years old, 2004. This is what she looks like now. Before Obama ever got in office. And you telling me that, oh, it's Obama's fault. No, it's not. But I see it like this, man. This is what happens when parenting goes wrong and when justice systems go wrong. This is what the hand they have dealt with because they have been, fa they, they have been failed. Great kids. They say people say, "Oh, they're great kids, likable, lovable, great student, all the yada yada." They such great students. How the hell they end up being pimped out? You tell me what the hell is going on in this world? It's even the same across the whole world. Teen prostitution, kids. It happens in Asia more. It happens. Teen kids prostitution happens more in Asia than it does in the States. How come the U.S. of A said we're trying to be different from any other country, but you're allowing teen pregnant, you're allowing teen prostitutions to continue. You're landing so many kids that actually killed their pedophiles ended up in prison, and you're telling me. And you're telling me, oh, they deserve to be in prison. No, they don't. It's the pe. Oh, it just pisses me off to see these people. These, I, 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 I just don't get. 
I, 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 I'm, I'm shy. I, like, if I, if I had the chance, if I had the chance to sit down with both of these women and have a conversation and ask them what went through their mind, what went through their mind when this happened, was that the only choice you had? Because like I said, man, this is sad to see because like I said, I got younger nieces where I actually, I got several siblings, I got younger nieces and nephews and cousins and that's in my family and it makes me look at them, it's like, makes me, makes me think, I hope they don't end up like that, I hope they don't end up being a teen prostitute, a teen parent or anything like that today because I hate to see that. But to sit here and see it happening now in today's society, it makes you question your government and your justice system more. It pisses me off because this happens. And it should piss you off because it happens. Because your kids are either dying in the street from gang violence, dying at home from drug overdose, or getting pimped out by some fucking pedophile. You tell me what's wrong with that picture. Or committing suicide because of cyberbullying or bullying in school. You tell me what's went wrong. Back when I was in high school, back when I was in school, you hardly ever hear a kid killing a pedophile and go. But you see this happening today, right now. It just, oh, oh, man. Like I said, I'm going to put the link to the documentary movie of this girl and the link to her to a like page where you can I can set her free because they actually got a like page where on Facebook where you can set this girl free same with Sarah, uh, same with uh, yeah same with Sarah I gotta find out one post up on there but it pisses me off that this happens every day on a daily basis and our justice system is failing us Oh, you can sit there. Oh, they trying the best they can. If they start sitting up there doing that racial pro profiling shit, if they stop, like, cause one thing is, you got pedophiles every day, man, and they don't check in. So it tells you what that you, you should never let them walk. You should never let them walk. Ped I don't think pedophiles need to walk. I don't think they lost their rights when they raped kids. That's when I. That's what I say. Pedophiles lost their rights when they raped kids. And that's how I see it. But like I said, man, this is saying that your kids can't walk, kids can't go to school without getting raped by teachers. Kids can't go to church without getting raped by preachers or rabbis or whoever. Teacher, uh, kids can't stay home because they're either getting raped or molested by a loved one or committing suicide because of cyber bullying or bullying or getting kid out they can't shut out in the street but I getting pimped out or getting killed and y'all sit up here acting like oh this is nothing new this is new it happens every day this is just something that this, this, this is just some bullshit that's happening because we keep electing, electing these fuckers in the congress see this is why I don't focus y'all keep electing the same bullshit artists and not in Congress but like I said man I'm gonna put this in this, I'm a, I'm saying this girl needs to be free that's how I see it this girl needs to be free she did not deserve to be locked up because she killed a pedophile the girl needs to be free so she can live her life so does miss the Sarah, Sarah girl and it's bullshit that this is continuing on every day of the year and the justice system is not doing nothing for it you say well we can't keep track look if you pay attention to the fucking hotels and the truck stops maybe you can catch them fuckers instead of being some assholes well we can't like I said, hotels and truck stops, motherfucker. There you go. Hotels and truck stops. Main places, hotels, motel, truck stops. There you go. That's how you 
in that teen trafficking bullshit. But you won't do it because you're too dumb. Man. Just, but like I said, we gotta put an end to this, man. I want this girl to be free, just like Sarah. And that's how it is in my book. I want to know what y'all think about it. Tell me what you think. Subscribe to my channel, Silo Junior Two, Silo Junior Three. Follow me on Twitter at uh, Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr and tell me what you think about this situation. Cause to me, it's bullshit. To me, it's bullshit. Holla at me. Peace, love, and do the right thing.